Yo, yo, yo! Hey! Do you like that? Just shouted in your ears. I'm here with Josh and Toby today on Side Memory Acts. What is up? I hope you're having a great day today. We are watching top 10 drinks that were banned. Ooh. I'm trying to think of a single drink that would be in this list. I just feel like there's going to be something, you know, like the toxic waste that me and Harry are meant to eat? There's going to be something on here that could potentially kill you and it has lead in it. Well, like one of those 29p energy drinks. Then turn out to be really dodgy or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm now gonna have to drink. Did Sonny D get them? Sonny, Sonny D. Yeah, he went away for a bit and then came back because he had to get it changed. Couldn't sell it in the UK, could you? That's what it was. It was like UK didn't have it, but everyone else still did. Just because it came back. Maybe like the FDA done up madness and said, yeah. yeah. DJ, spin that shit. Who says prohibition is dead? Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today Hello. we're counting down our picks for the top 10 <laughs> drinks that were banned in so American. So got this list. Law. We're mm. taking a look at alcoholic beverages that were banned oh. in one part of the world I or altogether. <laughs> Reasons may what? vary from the ingredients to the advertising to shoddy activity behind the scenes. Ooh. While some of these bans have been lifted, all of these drinks were hard to come by. How for did time. alcohol? Alcohol. Number 10, Frosties. <laughs> With bright Frosties. colors and a slushy texture, this beverage They're could easily bright. be mistaken for a children's drink. That's just one of several reasons why Frosties got iced by New York State Liquor Authority. Wow. The only thing sketchier than the product itself was how it got distributed. Coming in a variety of flavors, the sugary drinks could be purchased for 10 bucks through an Instagram account. The what? combination <laughs> of booze and sugar helped Frosties gain over 12,000 Instagram followers. The unlicensed drink ignited controversy, though, oh, when no. Swimmingly published a story entitled We Ordered Illegal Alcoholic Slushies and Barely Lived to Tell the Tale. Like the service <laughs> officially ceased shortly after New York Senator Charles Schumer oh. targeted it, although DIY recipes can still be found online. Man. Number 9. Alcohol. Powder and hey. alcohol in general has sparked a fair deal of backlash over health this concerns, is seeing as how it can be mistaken for a children's alcohol. beverage or easily snorted. Palcohol <laughs> is perhaps the most famous example. First announced in 2014, oh my this God. powdered drink mix from Lipsmark requires consumers to just add water. It's, a it's like oh the my cocktail God. equivalent of Kool-Aid. It's like a the bag close tightly, Give it a shake. shake, and then shake. While the product <laughs> was initially approved for <laughs> U.S. distribution by the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau, this turned out to be due <laughs> to the still going. error. Donnie the TTB like subsequently that. retracted its approval, although they would later sign off on revised labels. 51% alcohol, alcohol by was a driving force behind Ohio's bill to ban means, powdered alcohol. Level, by 2017, volume, right. powdered alcohol was outlawed in 35 U.S. jurisdictions. Wow, well, Number really? 8. Stiffy's Jaffa Cake Vodka. What? Sometimes what? it's not what's inside a drink that lands the company in hot water. In the case of Stiffy's Jaffa Cake Vodka, it was due to misguided marketing. With a unique mix of chocolate and orange tastes, this spirit made consumers feel like they were drinking Jaffa oh, Cake biscuits. However, the name Stiffy is admittedly <laughs> a bit, um, suggestive? Although oh the God. beverage was apparently Stiffy named after drink. someone who helped develop it, Portman Group Code attributed Stiffy to, quote, sexual success. The group thus banned Stiffy's Jaffa Cake like Vodka oh. and Cola Cubes. This motivated the company to change oh, its title to that. Stivies. It didn't help that a 17-year-old yeah, reportedly Stiffies. called Stivies yeah. the, quote, party lubricator of choice, prompting a supermarket chain to take their products off the shelves. Number 7. Pernod Anis Stiffies isn't the only oh. alcoholic brand that the Portman Group has cracked down on. Once again, the backlash all boiled down to a label for Pernod Anis. Alcohol, isn't it? While the bottle made mm. it clear that this was a Pernod Ricard product, the group argued that the alcohol by volume description wasn't legible enough because of the text's color. The group also took Burnout. issue with the words spiritueux and is like only being on the side of the yeah. bottle and not being in English. Since it was decided that the drink's alcoholic nature wasn't presented, quote, with absolute clarity, the group warned UK vendors not to stock Pernod Anis. Ah, Pernod Ricard felt ah. that the group was overreacting, but ultimately modified the label to appease them. Number six, yeah, Five that. Wives Vodka. Yeah, Five yeah, Wives yeah, Vodka yeah, sounds like a fictional drink that the park guys would have come up with. As if the name wasn't <laughs> enough to prove controversy, well, you know? <laughs> the label features five women in Mormon clothing slightly lifting their skirts. Believe it or not, <laughs> the drink is made by Ogden's own distillery in Utah, which has the country's highest Mormon population. The Idaho State Liquor Division deemed the vodka potentially offensive towards Mormons and women, oh and Idaho initially banned it, although this was later retracted to avoid legal retaliation. The drink's oh name God. is actually based on the first wagon train to pass through Utah, which had five women on board. According to the distillery's president, quote, we're not poking fun at anybody. We're just kind of <laughs> acknowledging the past. Number five, nice. Duff, Duff beer. beer. 
Duff beer is not only Homer Simpson's beverage of choice, but one of the most famous fake drinks it. in pop culture. The fictional beer became a reality a in 2014 beer. when actual Duff beer arrived in Australia's Woolworths oh. supermarkets. Although The Simpsons has been promoted as an adult cartoon, it also has plenty of younger <laughs> fans. Heck, it's on yep. Disney Plus. Duff. Oh yeah! Duff Beer is sponsoring the party. Duff man can't breathe. <laughs> 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 oh, I say, Duff man. I love Duff man. Duff man is Duff too man. funny. Man. <laughs> Duff man <laughs> is dying. But <laughs> 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 Simpsons is elite, you know. <laughs> Simpsons is actually elite. I didn't realize it was an adult cartoon at the time. It was just shit funny to me, bro. Like I bet now, if we went back and watched it, we get so many more like the jokes. Yeah, you understand the whole thing much more. I watched it on Disney Plus on that cruise. Since the drink could potentially entice children, it was deemed in violation of the alcohol beverages advertising code and stores were left duffless. Weirdly enough, this wasn't the first time Duff got banned in Australia. In the 90s, creepy, a bro. beer called Duff was developed by Australia's Lion Nathan Brewery. While no Simpsons characters were featured, 20th Century Fox took legal action and got the beer pulled. Oh, oh man, classic. Please it, And solution all. to all of life's problems. Josh, you know they never embrace that shit, man. You know they always just, you know, we've dealt with, you know, let me, if I speak, if I speak. Yeah, I don't understand why they just, why don't they just invest in it and go, fuck it, it'll help, it'll help you push it further. Number four. Dirty Bastard Beer. Dirty Bastard Beer. <laughs> if you're old enough to legally buy beer, you should be old enough to say a dirty word like bastard, especially at a bar. Regardless, the Alabama Alcoholic program, Beverage yeah. Control Board oh, banned Dirty Bastard Beer due to the <laughs> profanity in its name. The board reportedly dirty wanted bastard. to shield children from such foul language, although kids clearly children were not the target beer. demographic. Plus, <laughs> through a pair of innocent eyes, the beer Denmark. would likely blend so boring, in with all the it? others at a supermarket. Yeah. This ban was That's viewed as hypocritical by some outlets, since Alabama did approve fat bastard wine and <laughs> raging bitch beer years earlier. Oh, Harry, Harry got me. Harry got yeah. fat bastard in in the... Harry, Harry got fat bastard wine, didn't he? In our drinking video, oh, that's yeah. What, yeah. yeah. It's not even banned still. Ah, oh, dirty bastard. Ah, oh, that's bollocks. Number three, four loco. Ooh. Like alcohol, energy drinks can be extremely addictive. Oh, here we go. Putting them together is a recipe for trouble. Yep. Four loco was one of the caffeinated alcoholic beverages accused of causing Wait, blackouts blackout and other side effects, especially <laughs> among college That's students. Dangerous. The girls, it was like someone I've never seen before. They were, <laughs> they're almost like they were zombies. In response, <gasps> multiple universities banned the drink while some stores yanked them off the shelves. Several states, most notably Oregon, banned alcoholic energy drinks, with Four Loco being a primary target. I feel like I've heard about this before. If you like, think about Man. it, though, you know, you know like when, when I first started drinking, right? I would drink fucking Red Bulls. But then you get home, bro, you lay in bed and you got like fucking shakes. Like, oh, like, no, yeah. Like, Vodka Red Bull is one of the ones where you wake up, like half of your sleep, and oh you're like, God. your heart's pumping. And you're yeah, like, hang on, what's going pumping, on? You feel like shit. Your body's like, where's the alcohol? Oh, where, where's the energy? I'm crashing, I'm crashing. If he doesn't know if it's, uh, it's crashing or it's flying, he can't tell. Yeah. I can't relate, boys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to try an alcohol part two, no? No, no I'm good, I'm good. Let's, let's, I'm get, good. let's get you on like the vodka balls for a day. Nah, allow it. You, go to bed, I drunk you just told me you get the shakes. <laughs> I drunk vodka yeah, red you, you're for fine, hours. like you fall asleep in your car and you just wake up and you're fucking yeah, terrified. Right, it's 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 like your heart's beating it's actually, so fast. It's actually okay, bro. It's fine. <laughs> now it's like, okay, okay. Yeah, it's great. It's good fun. Yeah. Anyway, real, bro. Real friends. It was only a matter of time before the FDA got involved calling Four Loco and similar drinks, quote, unsafe. They did not have a boot. While you can oh, still shit. buy this malt beverage. Sent me and Bog would do this video. Declan, it's Declan Rice. <laughs> what? Let's go back. I know. You're disrespecting well, my boy. Now nah, look, right, look on the right. That's Decker's. Nah, you're disrespecting my boy, bro. That's what not, way? that's not. That is, though. That is, that is, that is. Nah, you're disrespecting my boy, bro. <laughs> Although this setup looks like something me and Harry would do for a video. 100%. <laughs> that could be Harry in three years. <laughs> It's getting big enough. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, dead whale beer. Um, oh. are we in a Captain Planet episode? I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, Captain I'm too Planet young for that, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we bet you didn't know that dead whale could be an ingredient in alcoholic beverages. Since whaling is a touchy subject, you'd think that brewers would want to keep the words dead whale out of marketing. The Icelandic company behind dead whale beer, however, couldn't have been more direct. As right. you can imagine, animal rights activists weren't at all pleased with this beverage. 
While Brewer Stovey claimed that whale increases the beer's health factor by 5.2%, it. it didn't stop the health inspector from pulling the plug before distribution even commenced. Yeah, this wasn't it an isolated it. incident, as Moby Dick whale cocktails and whale skin scotch whiskey have also been placed under scrutiny. that animation. I've never known that Free Willy was that bad. Let's see this, let's see this. It's oh, like tip art. Look, oh, that's God. fine, that's fine. Look, look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, it's no way part, was it that bro. bad. Oh no god. way was it that bad. Movies are coming a long way. Number one, Absinthe. Oh. Also known as the Green Fairy, Absinthe has gained something trip. of a notorious yeah. reputation for having a psychedelic hallucinogenic influence. It's illegal in the States because it makes you hallucinate and go crazy. The chemical compounds. <laughs> That's what you gotta try, Toby. Come on. Well, absinthe. Yeah. yeah how it? The chemical compound through John was thought to cause absinthe trippy side effects. Start having a conversation with this, Donnie. Looking at green fairies now. No. Yeah. It was even claimed it can turn people into criminals, cause epilepsy and tuberculosis, and had killed thousands. That's a one-way ticket to hell. The drink was thus banned in the U.S. and a good portion of Europe <laughs> by 1915. Yeah. In recent years, though, people have found the accusations against absinthe have been wildly exaggerated. Slowly but surely, absinthe started to make a comeback around the world, with the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau officially lifting the U.S. ban in 2007. Jeez. The Green Fairy the certainly mate. works in mysterious ways. <laughs> That's fucking Kylie Minogue, man. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Jeez. Nice. Oh dear. So Sidemen try the top 10 drinks that are banned. Sidemen side do one liter of four loco. Oh no. Toby does absent for a day. No, guys, guys, please. No? Sorry, lads, I was yawning. I couldn't speak. <laughs> uh, Get him some of that energy, <laughs> alcohol, or whatever it Thanks. is. Get him four loco, Thanks bro. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, remember to leave a like, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.